YouTube, how are we doing, guys? If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. I guarantee you, you're not going to regret it. We're getting into the Madden 23 season, bro. We're just going to be on the grind. We're just going to get right into this video, though, guys. Basically, they just announced so many players in Madden 23. Let's get into it. These are the gold cards. Now, they didn't show the stats for these, but I don't think many of you guys really care. But as you can see, they have Trey Lance. So that's mainly the card I noticed. Other than that, you know, we got, you know, Kadarius Tony, Eric Stokes. You know, whatever. No one's really gonna maybe use these cards. They might be good budget cards, who knows? But those are the gold cards. Next, we got Michael Walker, bro. This guy has 80 speed. He has no zone coverage. He's a run stopper. This card's probably not gonna be a very good card. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mainly because he's a run stopper. So he's not gonna be, you know, he's just not really it. So next, we got Milton Williams, 77 speed. This is a pretty good, bro. 77 speed on a D tackle is really good in the beginning of the year. So this is the guy you're gonna wanna put in spies. He's got really bad finesse move, a really bad power move. So I don't really know how much you're gonna want to play this card, but it's kind of a, you know, a spy stopper. If you got a quarterback that's 77 speed, whatever, he's gonna match up perfect with them. But next we got Joe Runyon. He's a lineman. We all know all linemen play the same. Maybe not this here though. So Joe Runyon, look at his stats. You can pause it if you want. Looks like a specimen, I'm not gonna lie. Next we got, dude, they gave James Conner 79 speed on an 82 overall card. That is insane and very disrespectful. I mean, I don't think James Conner is the fastest guy in the world, but like, dog, at least give him 80 speed because 79 is basically saying you're being disrespectful. But like, 80 is just like, whatever, we'll just move on with today. 79 is very disrespectful. I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not a Cardinals fan, so I really care. Next, Elijah Moore, 84 speed on 82 overall for Elijah Moore. That's pretty fair because he's one of the fastest players in the NFL. So honestly, I feel like 84 speed is pretty good for an 82 overall card that is honestly really really good next is the card you're gonna pick so guys basically you get 382 overall bro you get a free 82 overall when you pre-order the game and this is gonna be the one you want to pick 87 speed 86 to sell 86 agility and 86 jumping this card is absolutely amazing I mean his play record is really low his press and zone is pretty low but guys if you just put this guy in a deep zone like nobody's getting past him. He's just gonna play great. And he's six foot two. They were saying that on the stream. He is six foot two. This card's gonna play really, really good, especially for an 82 overall. Next, we got Quitty Pay. 81 speed, 86 power move, 85 block shed. And he gets speedster. So what's really cool about these cards, guys, is these 86 overalls, they get two abilities. So he's gonna have speedster, and you can pick another one. But you know how last year they had these cards with built-in abilities and you couldn't take them off? This year you can actually take the abilities off and you can refund them for training. So you actually get like literally free training from just refunding these abilities if you don't want to use them, which is really, really cool. So Quiddy Pay gets two ability slots. One, he gets Speedster for free. You can refund it. Really cool card, 81 speed. Gabriel Davis now, he has 85 speed, 86 deep route running really really good he gets double me and outside apprentice they're saying outside apprentice is going to run two ap for him so that's really really good this gabriel davis you probably are going to see a lot just because of the outside apprentice and you know no one's really going to have higher up master in the beginning of the year so you're going to need that it's going to be amazing not going to lie this is the card that's going to absolutely break the game I, I don't even know what to say so you might be looking at this card you're like oh dude 85 speed that's good but like it's not going to break this guy is six foot eight. You heard me right. I did not stutter. I'm gonna say it again. This guy is six foot eight. He is literally a basketball player. This dude is a, this is Draymond Green, bro. This dude is literally six foot eight at tight end. He has deep out, or I think that's mid in elite, mid out elite. I'm not really too sure what that ability is, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. Double me on him. This card is going to be broken. Every single good player in the game will have this card in the beginning of the year. He's just going to be a joke. I don't even know what to say. This card is going to be an absolute glitch. Next, Divine Diablo. Now, they got him at linebacker, so he's not going to be able to jump. But he does have no outsiders, I'm pretty sure. Um, 86 speed. You know, really good speed. So if you want someone who's kind of like, not really pass rush because he has bad finesse and bad power move. But like, he's a good run stopper, you know. And if maybe... You know, maybe linebackers get a little better of animations this year. Maybe he might play better in the in the past. I don't know. But Divine Diablo, goaded player. Next, Carson Wentz. All right. Anyways, next we got Ladarius Sneed. 88 speed. This is going to be the best corner in the game to start the game off. 86 play uh, press. 89 man. 86 play rec. 
90 jumping, 84 zone. This guy is just the all around goaded card. I'm almost positive, fact check me if you want, he is six foot two. I wanna say Ladarius Seen is six foot two, so that's gonna make this card really good. And he gets Pick Artist and Universal Coverage. Pick Artist is probably gonna be not the best ability, but it's cool. It's a good ability that you might wanna use in the beginning of the year. So this card is really good. I'm definitely gonna pick that card up one million percent. Next, we got Joe Mixon, dude. 86 speed. Oh, this card is a, just a... Dude, he's going to be my pass catching back. 100% Joe Mixon. He's only got 69 catching, but I mean, that doesn't really matter, right? 86 speed, 85 change of direction, 86 trucking. It gave a really good trucking for Joe Mixon. 88 break tackle. You're probably going to see this card everywhere. This card in Barry Sanders with comp players. Dude, he's going to be an absolute glitch. And next, guys. So basically, you can get the field pass. And what I think everybody has been thinking in the Madden community is that the field pack is, pass is going to actually cost you money, kind of like a Fortnite battle pass. That's not what it is. They actually said at the very end of the stream that the field trip pass is... I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. The field pass is actually going to be free. So you don't have to pay money. And basically, you can grind out cards. So basically, to do the solo challenges on the field pass, you actually get an 86 or more cards. So you're like, oh, I get to pick... Uh, Divine Diablo, one of those guys. No, you actually get a completely different 86 overall that they haven't even announced yet. So it's going to be kind of like a special card, which is actually really cool. They also said there's going to be house rules. So there's a lot of things going on that are really good. And Madden is, dude, they're looking good in the beginning of the year. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I'm not like getting paid to say this, obviously. But dude, they're looking good. Next, we got Team Captain. So this is the base card. So it starts off 85. You can upgrade it to 88. But 85, Keyshawn Johnson is going to have 82 speed. That's all you really need to know. Now, the stream glitched for me. I don't know why when they showed his 88. But his 88 has 85 speed, okay? So I'm not going to have the card to show you. But it's 85 speed on the 88. That's all you really need to know. It all kind of went up three overall points. So it's a really good card. Um, next, we got Larry Zonka. So it's 85 I mean, I don't really know why in the beginning of the year you're going to want to use a fullback. But, you know, it's 79 speed on his 85. And if you upgrade him to 88, he's got 82 speed. So, you know, I don't really know why you would pick him if you could pick Keyshawn Johnson. Because Keyshawn Johnson is going to be absolutely disgusting. He's like 6'5". Definitely pick him. Uh, but we got Sam Adams as well. 75 speed on D tackle is not the worst thing in the world. But then if you upgrade him to 88, he actually gets 78 speed. So that's also pretty good. You know, is he better than Keyshawn? Probably not. So I'm going to probably still go with Keyshawn. Last but not least, we got Eric Allen. Now, he's an eagle, so therefore I cannot pick him. But he has 83 speed, which is really good. By the way, these cards get every single team chem, which is awesome. Um, and then if you upgrade him, 86 speed, 86 press, 85 zone. You know, not the fastest for an 88 overall. But honestly, dude's really good. I feel like that's like a really, really good card. Next, guys, we have the quarterbacks. The top 10 rated core elite quarterbacks. Yes, there is so much in this video, I know. But before we get into these quarterbacks... They did say there are power-ups this year, guys. There are power-ups, but for some reason, they're just weirdly, like, only certain cards get power-ups. Like, they're kind of just toning down on, like, every card having a power-up. So only certain cards are going to have power-ups, which I feel like is a step in the right direction, so I'm not going to complain. But number 10 rated quarterback, we got Kyler Murray at 83 overall. Now, this card, you know, it looks good, but, like... I don't know. I don't feel like that's the guy for me. Number nine, we got Russell Wilson. They got Russell Wilson looking a little slow. I feel like Russell Wilson is a pretty fast quarterback. I feel like I give him 80 speed in my opinion. I mean, if you're going to give James Conner 79, I guess you got to give Russell Wilson 78. Good card. 84 throw power. You know, not the worst in the world, but the guy who they rated one above Russell Wilson is Dak Prescott. My boy. 77 speed. You know, his stats don't look that great. Not gonna lie, but I probably will be using him in the beginning of the year just because I'm an absolute fanboy of my man, Dak Prescott. And at the number seven spot, which I'll be surprised that he's this low, Joe Burrow, 85 overall, 71 speed. I don't know about you guys, but I think Joe Burrow is faster than Dak Prescott. If you race Dak Prescott and Joe Burrow right now, I'm thinking Joe Burrow is winning. I don't know, but he's way slower than Dak Prescott. 71 speed kind of makes this card maybe a little unusable. I'm not sure. But next, we got Matthew Stafford. If you want to talk about slow, this man is slow. 63 speed, 87 throw power. So this guy's going to be absolutely slinging the rock. He's a field general, which is great. Another thing they said in the stream, they got rid of strong arm quarterback. So I guess strong arm is not a thing this year. I don't know. Is what it is. But next, we got Justin Herbert. This dude is just... 
I don't know. I feel like this is who I want to use in the beginning of the year. 87 throw power, which is really good. 78 speed, which is really good. I'm thinking a Justin Herbert's looking nasty. He's got the field general archetype. I really do like it. Next, we have Thomas Patrick Brady the third. Absolute goaded. I, I didn't know. I'm just kidding. He, he looks pretty bad. 57 speed. Uh, you can't really get by with 57 speed. It's just not going to work. Um, you know, I don't know. Tom Brady. What do you guys think? I don't know. Next, we got Aaron Rodgers at the number three slot. I don't know. I was expecting Aaron Rodgers to be the number one rated quarterback in the game, but I guess not. So 72 speed for Aaron Rodgers. He's an improviser too. So I don't know if they're going to switch this year, but last year improviser was the worst archetype. So I don't know. Number three rated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. He has really good stats. So he's just a little bit slow, but you know, really good. Number two, who do you think it's going to be? Is it Josh Allen or is it Patrick Mahomes? Who's number two? You might be thinking, probably Josh Allen, right? Nope, it's Patrick Mahomes. 78 speed and all those amazing stats. So finally they did him right. So they've been giving Patrick Mahomes really slow speed for like two years straight. So they finally like gave him a good amount of speed on an 87 overall card, which is not bad. 78 speed, Patrick Mahomes looks really good. But guys, look at this freaking card. Woo! <laughs> Josh Allen. Wait, he has a strong arm. They lied to us. They literally lied to us, bro. That dude said on the stream that they got rid of strong arms. Well, it literally says right here that he has a strong arm. So I don't know why he said that. 80 speed, 89 throw power. Dude, this card's gonna be expensive, man. 80 speed, 89 throw power. He's definitely the best quarterback in the game and it's not even really close bro all right guys well if you enjoyed the video let me know man those are all of the cards that are coming out that they have released in the madden guys what do you think is this a w is this a l was your favorite quarterback rated too low was your favorite quarterback not even on the top 10 let me know in the comments below guys madden 23 is so close i'm going pro this year man i'm gonna grind the game out i'm gonna quit my day job no i'm just kidding but yeah i'm gonna grind it you guys are going to grind it. We're going to be in this together. Appreciate you guys. You guys are legends. And adios, amigos. Peace out, guys.